Hey everyone, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and this is Fingerbones. I just saw it on Game Jolt. I have not seen this game. I don't know what happens. Apparently it's supposed to be an atmospheric psychological horror thing. I figured I'd just do a little bit of a, you know, showcase of it, and this is a really sensitive mouse. Okay. Like, really sensitive. That's better. Okay. It is my weekend to get Katie, but I'm not really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and the divorce certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed, I'm enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Why is there knives next to your price of knowledge, dude? It's probably not very healthy. Okay. Okay, is there anything to interact with here? No. 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 No, no. No. <laughs> no. I got a cup. I really don't know what to make of games like this. I've been playing a lot more things on Game Jolt. Okay, that's leaving if I exit. I've been playing a lot more games on Game Jolt lately, but... It's mostly because, you know, there just seem like things that'd be fun to play. Um... Can't jump. Is there anything over here in the darkness? I really don't know what in the world this game is. Okay, can I open this somehow? Oh! I've got a flashlight. Okay. Cool! I've acquired flashlight. Oh, paper. I don't know why I'd use my stepdaughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but it keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Stepdaughter, eh? Interesting. Okay, stepdaughter's name. We need to find something with the stepdaughter's name. I'm pretty sure that this has something to do with something. That wall indentation there, but... Hey. Okay. It appears to be picture man. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions, not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce... Morality is not a farce! It should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, suggestive, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Um... No! On so many levels, no! The actions of a natural creature are, act are natural. So, I'm a natural creature. If I just up and murdered somebody on the street, I'm a natural creature. Is so, the things that I do are natural, therefore my killing people is natural? I don't know. Okay, I don't know what... I don't know what to do! Oh, hey, paper. I was 15 years old when I lost for a too much of TMI there. Don't need to know that. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt the same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay. Alrighty then. So this is a find the page simulator. Got it. Okay, I can't go in there yet. I probably need to find out the stepdaughter's name first. I didn't do it. Oh, hey! That's glowy now. Since it's glowy, I can use it, right? Everything will be fine. It'll just be a happy-go-lucky little game. It's fine. Um, what was her name? Shit. W! Okay. One of these has to have her name on it. Katie! 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 Okay, Katie. Wait, why did he have custody of her stepdaughter? Did he adopt her? So it made a noise that time, so hopefully I can get through the door now. Oh, hey, cool! Everything will be okay. Everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. Everything is okay. Okay. Oh. 
It finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all of the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. So, zombie apocalypse happened? Okay, that's locked. That's locked. Anything back here? Oh, hey! I see you! I see you! The tool room... The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. The tool room has been her name. I boxed up everything that is impractical and useful. I burned all the books that were for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway! What?! <laughs> Why?! The tool room has been her name. Tool room has been her name. Wait, is it Lynn? Do I have to go back and put um, Lynn into the thing? Come on. Part of me wishes there was a sprint button or something, but I'm a jump, 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 jump. Except I can't, and I'm pressing the space bar, so I can't jump. So Katie and Lynn, those were our first two passwords. Why do I have a feeling that this is going to end horrendously? And be really dark, but no, 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 no. We're gonna keep, we're gonna be positive. We're gonna be positive, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be okay, see, everything's fine. Okay. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again, and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Okay. She drew you a picture, man! She thinks you're cool people! You be nice to that little girl! There are things that I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my subconscious. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Okay, I know where this is going! I know where this is going. Oh, do I know where this is going. Oh, I know where this is going. Oh, I do not want- I wish I didn't know where this was going. I changed the storeroom code to something I can easily remember. Any... the rest of the word is missing. Huh? Any. Any and outie? Okay, N and Y. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy. Any. What the fuck is an any? It's like an any and an outy belly button or something? Record is something I can easily remember the rest. Any. Any. Where did we see something that was any? Are you any? It's not Katie. It's not Lynn. Wait a minute. Is it Lynn backwards? Is that Lynn backwards? Because N and Y, you put an L there and it becomes Lynn. Or Lynn backwards, I should say. So we'll try that. Try, so it'll be N N Y L. This guy really needs to get better password protection. Seriously. I use super strong. Okay, I cannot understand it when people try to do simple passwords or easy passwords. The point of passwords is to keep your information safe, 
And I'm always extremely methodical in trying to keep my information safe. So I have uberly complicated passwords. Okay, I was right. It's Lynn backwards. So now we can go into the storage room. Okay. Why do I get the feeling? I've got... Part of me gets the feeling that I'm the mother. That both the, um... That both the stepfather or the dad and the, uh... Daughter are dead and I'm the stepmom coming to find them. I'm a bag of DNA. I'd exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter. Oh, okay, so it's not his stepdaughter? Because my genes demanded reproduction, I wrote books and created because creativity served a natural survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I have built this place to refuge in and spent hours thinking of silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, now they are in needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Okay. All right. Sure. Oh, button. Did that open what I think it opened? Did that, did that, did that open this? No, it didn't. Part of me's like, good! <laughs> I don't want to see what's in there! Okay, button's been pushed. What changed? I pushed the button. What changed? What in the world? Is there another button I'm supposed to push? I like pushing buttons. Will you stop it with the noises, please? Okay. I pushed the button. Maybe if I go back upstairs, we'll see something? Possibly. I'm going to have to probably play a really happy game after this. I think. Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay. Yeah, I told you this was probably gonna do something later. What the fuck? Are those finger bones? Those are, aren't they? The cellar is freedom. So would that make the password for the cellar freedom? Because it is freedom? Okay then! Got that in the first try! I'm trying to be optimistic and peppy and happy and not possibly raping and murdering this dude's daughter that he... This is gross. There's only enough food for one... There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway, and I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of humanity for me to find freedom. Oh, no! Seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked up in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I have done nothing wrong! Dude, you've done so much wrong. I can't even. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor, closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Okay? Guys, I haven't had a game make me genuinely uncomfortable in a while. That's, um... 
wasn't on the level of I have no mouth and I must scream, which is a game that I have said that I will never let's play on the channel because I have a really hard time with it, but it's kind of obvious that that game is fucked up. If you guys want to play it yourselves and just experience it, it, I'll put a link to it in the description down below. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and this has been some Fingerbones. I'll see you all!